everyone and welcome back to Bring It To Life with Gail. So today I just want to show you something that I picked up in a little craft store in O'Fallon, Missouri this past week and it's Ephemera packages. So you know how we all have stacks and stacks of items. This is just to show you that one person, what they decided to do, and they are selling these for $5.95. Um, they just put a bunch of little stickers and things like, I'm gonna show you real quick what's in this package. There's even a little um, hippopotamus little figurine here I couldn't tell that word but I'm just gonna show you and there were tons of these with some had book pages in them um, so this is a great way for you to clean out your old papers leftovers uh, scraps stickers buttons anything that you have to make packages like this to sell at your next craft sale so let me take this apart and i will show you what is inside so for 5.95 i think i got a lot of little vintage item as well and we all have those and nowadays um they sell replicas of these um vintage item in the store so these are just like little tickets there's like three of those items in here how cute is that to make a journal or whatever I would probably use this for a journal um, or even scrapbooking but I just think that these are pretty cool to get some of your items moved around in your craft room so this is just a little uh, tag that you can actually make cutting out a picture it looks like it was this was a picture that they cut out and made a little tag out of it how neat is that and then there's a there's even a prayer that comes out of a book a old magazine it looks like um just a list of books i mean games um i'm sure this looks like um scrapbook page that was cut um a little piece of a puzzle um a tag from uh, a package um just um orchids just a little word um this looks like an old tag from a physician and this is just like scrap paper. Oh, with a star stuck in the back. Just pieces of scrap paper. Um, a piece of, wait. Okay, yeah. Just a piece of um, <laughs> an envelope. It says PayPal on it. Um, a little tag that they embossed. Some more of these little, um, it looks like a prescription top of in vintage one. Um, a word that says withdrawn um, just little cutouts this looks uh, like a whole stamp another piece of this paper um, a piece of a book um, this looks like a old prescription again a lot of this and this one looks like you know but this looks all like uh, an advertisement piece an address again just some ripped apart envelopes from old mail or um, just pieces of books oh I'm gonna turn this around there's an address on here but you know you can have an old address another piece of just papers cut apart and I'm sure they used this in multiple um, packages um, this is one coupon, redeem b and W. I'm not sure what b and W is, but just old tickets. Again, more like tickets. And you can buy these tickets at Dollar Tree, these especially. So look at that. And you just put them. Um, I think this is a Gone with the Wind. Ashley Engagement. It was an old, probably a, some of those cards like baseball cards. Um, airmail tickets. You can buy these now at the store. Um, a sheet of stars guess what Dollar Tree uh, just a little um, travelers hotel just a old embellishment and you can buy some of these on Amazon another one here about a hotel just a little one that says December another one of those Rexall oh, does it have a date on it 68 so this would be from an old um, 
uh, pharmacy, you know, they probably found that somewhere in the anti stock. Um, just a word that says strawberry. Um, the number six or the number nine in the envelope. How cool is that? Okay. <laughs> From a meat department at a store. I mean, satisfaction guarantee or something like from a store. Um, this looks like this was just an old, um, not an old, but uh, one of those newer postcards. Just looks like that. Uh, just a piece of paper. Made it look vintage. Another number, seven. Uh, just a little vintage by the bell st charles missouri like i said i got this in uh o'fallon missouri so uh just scrap of paper some more pages as you can tell from a book and then oh look at this and then i just got some paper folded page a folded page of paper uh another little thing some music pages from a book a music book it looks like how cute is that uh jigsaw songs it says and then a cigar or something little sticker a souvenir from and it's a postcard it doesn't have a date but it's an old postcard uh, and like I said, some of this, you know, you might not have like the old postcard because, you know, they can get expensive. But if you bought a bunch for on sale or whatever, you can, you know, put them in there if you're not using them. And then just some words. And of course, the little hippopotamus. I'm not sure why they would have put that in there. But and then I think these, yeah, these go on those old milk uh, things. The little caps. February and then of course there was a little piece of ribbon so all this infra infra I can't say that word that well for $5.95 and you just buy these bags um, on Amazon you know depending how big you want them and you make yourself these packages to sell at a craft fair um, this was priced at $5.95 but you can make these uh, your own and sell them at the price that you want. So I hope that you enjoyed this little video of something that I found that I thought was interested, interesting to share with you so you can do the same thing and clear out your craft room, especially with all of that paper that you have. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, I bring things home, I bring it with love, and I bring it to life. I will see you next time.